Snowflower and the Secret Fan is a film about the power of female friendship. The movie is based on Lisa C's 2005 best-selling novel set in ancient and modern China. It looked at the universal themes of love, loyalty, and betrayal. Here's a look at the trailer. The world is always changing. We have to look to the past to find what doesn't change. Do you know her family came from Hunan? She's talking about my mother's 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 mother. Her name was Snowflower. She had a loud tongue named Lily, a sworn sister for life. Centuries ago, they took an oath of sisterhood. Through a secret language, they shared their joys, mourned their tragedies, and kept their hopes alive. This summer, I'm writing a book. It's about the old days. But I think it's really about us. Experience an extraordinary friendship. That is strong enough to last lifetimes. Our destinies are tied forever. <laughs> Fox Searchlight Pictures presents... We will be locked home. Sisters for 10,000 years. Snowflower and the Secret Fan. Joining me now, Wendy Murdoch, the producer of the film, director Wayne Wang, and actress Lee Bing Bing. I am pleased to have all of them here to talk about this film. How did you come to be a producer of a film? How did this happen? This happened because a few years ago, I read Lisa Sin's book. And I really love the book, and I can relate to the characters in the book. Because, because? I grew up in mainland China, in a very small town, very poor, and we have no hot water. My grandmother died at childbirth. My mother's on TV with us. She had a little bound face, similar to the woman in the film, who has no um, education, mm -hmm. and not allowed to go to school, and have a arranged marriage, and she lived with us. So I know the Chinese woman's story really moving, mm -hmm. and um, so we bought a right. We you, produced You agree with me, it's, it's just a story about love and loyalty yes. and betrayal. Yes. Yeah. So then you and Florence Sloan, yes. you know, co-producers. Yes, she's uh, my friend and a partner in this film. So you go hire a director. Yes. Why did you hire Wayne? Because <laughs> we love Wayne's film. Uh, I remember very clearly when I watched The Jared Lock Club, it mm -hmm. made me cry, and I watched it also, we want this film not just show in China, the Chinese film. We also want this film show international. And Wayne is international best known director. He knows to say that story. Quite often, you see a lot of good Chinese film, big box office, $100 million in China, in China only. Mm. But when it comes here, it's almost no, nothing. No box office. Yeah. yeah. So. You added something to this film that was not in the book, which is so called, you updated it and gave it a 21st century frame. Right. What did you do and why? Because I know modern China a little bit. I've been to Shanghai and Beijing, and I really wanted to have a modern-day story that also tells, you know, about love, loyalty, and friendship mm -hmm. uh, in a way that can bounce off of the um, uh, period story. I didn't want people going away thinking Chinese um, is still... Binding feed and this and, all and this. In fact, there was some controversy stuff. about that. In fact, I'm yes. told that there was some sense that you didn't, they did not want you to give the appearance in this film that that's what China was about today, and we all know that. Well, they don't want to just show that part of it, um, you know, because China has changed. China is more than you know just binding feed, even in in, in its history. But today, Chinese China is very very different. I mean, so that's why they. 
you know traditional it, and modern yeah you know, traditional and modern yeah. and i just feel like you know for me i'm more interested in the tr in the contemporary I, I go to shanghai and i think it's this is new york city on steroids so so you so you show a modern uh, friendship yes. in shanghai of which one of the two members of the friendship is writing a book based yes. on about what happened right yeah how do you see this story and tell us who your character is uh, in this story, I play two roles, and I play ancient part of uh, uh, Lily, and I play the modern part of Nina. Right. And I really love the relationship between the two girls. It's very subtle, and it's really special. And I do believe this kind of emotion in this life is really, really tough. What's the nature of this friendship between these two? They met at seven years old? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, there's uh, actually a secret Chinese uh, uh, culture about Lao Tong and Nu Shu. Yeah. Even yeah. me, before uh, I shot the movie, I never heard it. Ah. Uh, I think most of Chinese they don't know this kind of uh, this Same kind of culture. Me, yeah. Yes, after I got the script and I asked Wayne, is the Lao Tong is the truly uh, a Chinese culture? And she told me it's true. So that I learned a lot from the movie and from the story. And tell me about the friendship between these two. Oh, like Wendy said, in the ancient part, you know, the women, they don't have the uh, privilege. They cannot choose their life by themselves. They cannot be what they want to be. They have arranged uh, marriage. They, they have no choice. They just, uh, they, they were just arranged. So their relationship uh, become very secret. They uh, write new shoe on the fan. On the fan. They communicate through the fan. Yes, communicate uh, through the fan. And it's very secret. Just for women can understand. Men would not, not understand. Yes, they don't yeah. understand. Was this at all easy for you because you know China, because you're a Chinese, because you're well known in China, uh, for you to produce a film? And because was, I work hard. <laughs> because you, you know, especially because you work hard. I, I thought it would be easy, but it's not. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, I'm very fortunate. I have a good supporters, and we after we bought the rights, I yeah. have a lot of friends and want to invest in the film. So we have Shanghai Film, yeah. IDG Media and Film, Brothers. It was Hawaii said Brothers. somewhere this was a budget of six million dollars. Is that it, in I, the ballpark? We can't come in a budget, <laughs> <laughs> but we are profitable <laughs> from China, and um, is not easy to make a film yeah, especially yeah. in china but it's we have a good director and a fantastic yeah. movie star um so the whole process is really challenging but a good challenge mm. i i wouldn't do another film in china if i didn't have somebody like wendy because I mean, yeah. because there's there, there's because so many <laughs> yeah speaks. because she gets things done and there are uh, a lot of things that are very complicated i yeah. mean for example, the currency in China is still very controlled. Right. And so it's very hard to manipulate, you know, how to get people even paid every week. Yeah. You know, like we're used to it here. Every Friday the crew gets paid. Over there it's it's you know, mm. more ambiguous and, and to get the currency, to get the cash, to do this and all that is very, very complicated. Right. American she, films are very popular in China, and as you said, Chinese popular. films have not had an audience. Yeah. Do you think that's going to change? I think the people, no matter Chinese or American, they always love good films. And Chinese people love Chinese, good Chinese film, all good American films. But I hope through what I'm doing with making Chinese stories being told internationally, also China is such a hot topic. I do think other filmmakers will go to China and make films, mm. and that will translate to the West. It's been a remarkable life for you. I mean, you were very poor. <laughs> it's okay. Very poor. Yeah. Yes? Oh, yes. I mean, no one understands even how poor you were. Yeah, but everybody's <laughs> poor in China. Yeah, when yeah. I was yeah. little, yeah. we didn't know we were poor. <laughs> this has been an extraordinary life. I mean, you, in a sense, yes. that you came to the United States, got an education, yeah. went to Yale, went mm -hmm. to work for Star, yeah. met Rupert Murdoch, mm -hmm. got married, have yeah. two children. What is it about China you want us to know? I love China. We have a house in Beijing. I really love... Um, Belong to a former mayor. <laughs> Charlie been to our house. Uh, he saw China when I saw yeah, yeah, dinner there. there right? But um, as a Chinese, while traveling with my husband or uh, alone, yeah. everybody around the world um, asked me about China. Right. What's happening there? We're all fascinated What's going by on where there? China is yeah. because of its strength and its power and its. Yeah, and uh, because um, they don't understand yeah. a lot of things in China, so that's why through this movie you actually understand a bit more about Chinese culture. Also, 
you know, look at modern Shanghai, what's going on there, hopefully encourage you to go there to visit. The other thing I'm thinking is that people, it doesn't matter what culture you live in, what time, and it's human relationships, is timeless. How you're dealing with pain, suffering, sacrifice, and happiness, and everything important in life is all the similar. Mm. We're basically more similarly different. When you were acting this part, mm -hmm. uh, did you reach back in your own mind to friendships you had? Did you think about the meaning of friendship as you brought Lily's story to life? I um, actually I do believe this kind of relationship. Yeah. I do have a very best friends in my life, uh, who is my roommate when I was in the college. We spent four years in the college, and we sep uh, after graduated we separated. And I went to Beijing to have my career, and she stayed in Shanghai. Mm. At the beginning, I always called her and I said, "I miss you. Come mm. to Beijing and live with me. I how can I without you to have." to stay in Beijing and she just said come back to Shanghai and we we every day like we connect for on the phone for one hour it that's two girls it's like if you call your boyfriend on phone uh, it's like one hour two hours it's <laughs> it's, it's okay but you yes, call yes. your girlfriend so I I even told her we are we are lesbian. <laughs> we're laughing. Lesbian. Yes, lesbian. Yes. No, we're lesbians. I'm, I'm kidding. I just uh, really miss her. Yeah. But I, it do really happen in my life. So when I got this script, I just uh, asked her, being, mm. I do believe this relationship. Mm. And there, I, there is a real power of, of even physical and sexual attraction here. Yes. Mm. Yes. But it's never expressed as a lesbian relationship, so to speak. There is that physicalness, there is the emotional connection, but as she describes it really well, it's like a fourth dimension of love and friendship. Mm -hmm. It's something deeper, something, you know, more complex. And I think it's, it's, it's quite common with the Chinese women especially. Does this mean, having gone through this experience, that this is what you want to do, in addition to all the other responsibilities you have as <laughs> wife and mother and, <laughs> and, and with the kind of role that you play at News Corp? Uh, <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> like, I'm very lucky. Yeah. This I mean, you opportunity. really are, in a sense, somebody who has, I mean, you're more than anyone else, or sort of News Corp's person who's known in China. <laughs> People know me in China because the work I do there, but after this movie, and I got so much support, and a lot of people came to me want to make more movies with me. So I'm a carefully select pro um, project with Florence. So you're looking at your next project? Yeah, actually, in fact, the next project with a different studio, we're going to announce soon. So. Can you tell Florence. me now? Um, later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, congratulations. Thank you. Very Thank much. You. Thank you. And to you. Thank you. Wayne, Thank you. pleasure to have you here. Mm -hmm.